The Unified Field Theory by Rodney Stewart Adams. The Unified Field Theory is that the image we see is pixelated, a synesthetic superpixel. The synesthetic superpixel, the projection of the holographic universe, so it fits in with the idea of projection of a holographic universe. Like memory and imagination are both multisensory. So it's like we have a set, an array of superpixels which we can fill in with multisensory perception. And this can either appear as a projection or it can appear as sensory information building up the image. Which I've got here which is like a robot would do, or like a child would do, like a slug does, and like we do. It's constructing a virtual reality, a mind map from sensory input. And this image is pixelated. It starts off with the Isakar entoptic, you know, the breast entoptic. Um, which is the signal, you know, the point of energy, which is the coaxial signal. So there's a signal coming in at this point, the dark energy, and then from that dark energy you can see light, and then the energy flows around and flows back, at, like uh, around the, the coaxial core. And this point is a point in mind, the eye, you know, the imaginary point which is the superposition. The eye is the superposition, a point in mind, and this is the breast or the exocarrant optic. Now this is the level of quantum mechanics, of the quantum theory. We have the point, I, which we see in mind. I remember we have the dark energy, so obviously it would be dark energy, so we can see the light. So the dark energy flows in through the coaxial signal and creates a point of light, which is I. That point of light moves, and as it moves, it's a function of pi. You know, it moves from the point to the circle, and that's a function of pi. So as it moves, that point, it draws a line. So it's a point and a line, and then that line seems to endure on a surface, on a screen in our minds and this is a function of E, the exponential as it fades away so we can see another point moving and there we have phi, the I you know the golden mean, the golden section so the I sees the light, sees the light point move and as it moves there you've got the differential as it en endures on the screen, there on the surface we have the integral. These are the two functions that you need to understand, this separation between differential and integral. Now this point becomes the left hemisphere of the brain, this becomes the right hemisphere, this then becomes the heart. So we're talking about the division. You'll see more about this in the quantum computer brain. But the other thing to understand is this is two-dimensional. So the quantum level is two-dimensional, seeing a two-dimensional image on the screen. Now the other way to understand this is this is the video level. This is the video signal. And this is the way we interpret the video signal as a point that's scanned and, and as moving objects on that screen. And those music moving objects defined and there we're seeing it. For us mere mortals, the, the simple way of understanding this is there's the eye, there's the point, there's the line that's moved, the moving point, and there's the plane, the screen, there's the eye. This is the cartoon, the two-dimensional level of quantum mechanics. This is the video signal that we're interpreting.
Now the next level is space time. The third and the, f the first level, remember, is the point, the line, and the certain the two dimensional surface. Then remember the third dimension, which is space, there's a three for a wave. Then with the fourth dimension, which is time, there's the four for the hands of the clock. And there we have the eight for a flame, which is energy. And this is the level of relativity of drama and of music, the level of script of language. It's the level of space time of being in the right place at the right time. Now this is the soundtrack. This is the sound. The space is a wave and it's the endurance of the wave that creates the sound. So this is the soundtrack to our reality. Hence all the script, etc.